Good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing on this Monday afternoon? <laughs> I know. I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, I, after I get done with uh, doing this video, I plan on curling up taking a nap. Yeah, if you've watched my video this morning, then you know what, what uh, the reason why. So yeah, I'm a bit tired. So bear with me and um also on top of that as you can see we have a huge message that's coming out if you haven't been watching the messages um from the uh, last couple of days basically starting on friday through today we've been getting some pretty big messages coming through either uh, um, you know, especially like numeral numerologically excuse me and uh, then like yesterday um, with the oracle reading and today with this tarot message big big time okay so definitely make sure you go back and watch those two videos as as well okay so let's jump into this all right first first spread from the spirit animal oracle find out what sort of spirit animals we have around us first card up uh the uh, from the bottom of the deck the number two card the antelope spirit uh life is speeding up okay top of the deck second card the number 67 card that's the six seven card oops excuse me the wolf spirit turned knowledge into wisdom all right and the last card also from the top of the deck the number 64 card that's the six four card the wasp spirit sometimes life stings all right so all of that, oh shoot, uh, added up to seven. So definitely tapping into our intuition here, um, listening to our guides, um, uh, um, being connected with spirit, listening to what spirit has to say, and, so, and, and our ancestors, and so on and so forth, okay? All right, second deck, uh, I was really called to today, and I understand why, after uh, pulling these cards, is uh, from the eth Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot Deck by Matt Hughes, okay? All right, so um, normally it's past, present, and future, but I feel like um, it's kind of conglomeration of all three, so... Let's jump into this. Okay, uh, bottom of the deck, and then the rest of these from the, just pulling from the top of the deck uh, in order. Okay, all right. First card up, two of swords. So, and uh, we basically uh, in the past have been um, keep you know keeping our our hearts shielded and so forth. Um, we've been learning how to follow our intuition, kind of going through things blindfolded and so forth. But mostly what's really calling to me are those swords, you know, and crossing over um, our hearts and everything. Keeping, you know, keeping people at a distance and so on and so forth because, you know, we've probably been hurt in the past and so forth. And, but what has wound up happening is basically the number 10 card from the Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, basically it's um, a spirit or the universe or what have you then coming in and telling us, okay, you know what, it's time for us to do some healing work, some, some cleansing work and so forth. And we see that with the next card, the Page of Swords. Okay, definitely going through, you know, with some youthful energy, clearing a lot of stuff out so that way we can get a cl very clear path on, on the direction it is that we want to be going. And now we know exactly who it is that we want to be, okay? That clear vision of who it is that we want to be, the Empress, okay? So, and it is basically um, the number, uh, which uh, brings us to the next card, the number 17 card from the Major Arcana, the Star card, all about following our, 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 our guiding light, our star, and bringing hope back into our lives, okay? Beautiful energy four of wands so we can we can celebrate yeah it's gonna sting a little bit it is stinging a little bit you know because let's face it change is never easy you yeah, know getting rid of all those old habits and so forth the hierophant hierophant excuse me the number five card from the major arcana definitely learning some new rituals okay and bringing them into practice basically getting to the heart of the matter, Three of Swords. Getting to the heart of the matter, still going through, doing our cleansing work and so forth, but at the same point, 
So in that way, we can establish some new practices, okay? And in the process, still, of course, you know, like I said, getting to the heart of the matter, clearing things out, and because uh, we're able to be able to move forward, things, things are going to be speeding up. Mm-hmm, okay? All right. But it's ma making us more balanced. It's giving us more passion. It it's, it's making us better people, basically. Better bosses, be better leaders, and so forth. Basically turning that knowledge into wisdom. That's what this guy is all about here, the King of Wands. All right? In the center, interestingly, Ace of Wands, new beginning of passion, helping to bring a, a, a um, ha start with a new beginning of passion. Yeah, because of everything that's happening, yeah, it's causing us a lot of conflict, making us exhausted, and so on and so forth. Let's face it, new rituals are never easy, but at the same point, it's going to make us better people in the end, okay? And it's giving us a new beginning of clarity, Ace of Wands, I mean, excuse me, Ace of Swords, and then also new beginning of love, self-love, loving of people, being compassionate and so forth, Ace of Cups here, all right? And it's helping us with balance, number 11 card, the Justice card from the Major Arcana, all right? And it's giving us everything that we need. The Magician, number one card from the Major Arcana. All right. That new youthful passion coming in. Page of Wands. All right. And it's helping us to draw our new being into existence. All right. This is a, a, a card that's added, to, a Major Arcana card that's added to this deck. It's a, a number 23 card, the artist. We're basically drawing... Uh, now that, you know, we're pu putting all of this into practice, we're able to draw our new b uh, beings into existence. And it's giving us victory. We are being victorious. The chariot, number seven card. And four aces, also a lot of prosperity. Ace of, Ace of Pentacles here. All four aces were drawn with, with, with this reading. I couldn't believe it when I seen it. I was just like, holy cow. Whole new life, whole new beginning, okay? So in that way we can make some proper decisions and get some balance in our lives. So we have, let me see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, major arcana cards mm -hmm. that's pretty much half the reading almost half the reading and then we have all four aces along with the magician card because the magician card encompasses all four all four aces of the elements so this one here added up to one new beginning i know and then seven plus one eight very prosperous okay yeah we are going to be going to we are going through some change some conflicts things are stinging a little bit especially with things speeding up here both of them but everything we have learned about clearing all this mess out and everything turn that into wisdom so in that way we can have two three all four of these aces okay because you got this you really do have this okay alrighty so if you really like this message I know I do <laughs> please uh, hit that like button also um, if you like the content coming out of this channel please subscribe and uh, to it and also um, uh, hit those notification buttons so you know when new videos are coming out please share them with people that you think and or know will benefit from them or and or just share them on your social media spread spread the positivity let's keep this going this is a beautiful message today all right um, Tomorrow morning, I won't be doing a morning message because uh, I have a doctor's appointment, but definitely tomorrow afternoon, tarot message. All right. Love you all.